Laura, you referred to the numbers as fluid. Uh, I think that's kind. Uh, the numbers have been inconsistent, let's be honest. You know, we started uh, many months ago with a uh, suggestion from the governor's office that we'd be able to save $1.6 billion uh, with concessions from unions. Uh, we haven't seen that. There's been a shortfall. Um, we, we, we heard from the governor's office that the budget would balance. And here we are, and it hasn't done that. And we hear uh, from the governor's office again that a nonpartisan group, the Office of Fiscal Analysis, says that we're in the red, and we hear the governor's office again say, no, we're in the black. We consist consistently hear the same thing. Um, they're wrong, and we're right. Moody's downgrades our bond rating. We're right, they're wrong. It, 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 at what point do we believe the numbers? At what point do we, be not, but do we not believe the numbers? How, how confident are you in the savings that were projected from the labor savings deal? Uh, in, entirely uh, not confident. Uh, you know, it's been fluid, and we're going to continue to see fluidity over the course of the next five months. And, and, and let's remember, you know, we're, we're talking about savings. We did spend more money this year than we did the year before, and we did just see the largest tax increase in the history of Connecticut. This has been a very good academic discussion, but let's be honest with ourselves. There's a higher income tax, there's higher sales tax, and the people of Connecticut are feeling that. So we're, we're talking about a dollar versus three dollars, but we've seen the largest tax increase in the state's history, yet we're still falling short. Maybe the governor should have thought of some additional cuts rather than just reverting to taxes immediately. I truly do not believe, and I talk to a lot of people, that nobody had any concept that this tax increase would be as large as it was and have such a tremendous impact on small business owners and on families. This, nobody banked on this. Just walk to the corner grocery store, they'll, they'll tell you.